how do you sustain yourself being in the zone even when your 2022 really sucks? Let's get it. Yeah. I'm inspired. Yeah. I'm inspired. Hey there guys, how's it going? My name is Sumed Chatterjee from the Flow Zone Academy and I'm a flow state guide, a flow state coach. I help you feel better and perform better. Today we have a topic of a video for you, which is how to stay in the zone even when your 2022 pretty much sucks, okay? Maybe you've been through a breakup, maybe it's just a rough time for you financially, maybe uh, people in your life are sick or ill, it could be so many things, right? A multitude of different things. The first thing that I want you to do, okay? This seems like a little bit unorthodox, but I think that this is going to be the best option for you right now, is to, on a piece of paper, write down all of the negative thoughts and emotions you're having currently at this time. What we're going to have to get you to do is reach some form of an identity level change. So the problems that you're going through, you want to build a different relationship as to how you view those problems. Right now, they seem like mountains to climb. They're tiny little flakes of rice or something, right? They're not as big as you've made it out to be. So. Once you can do this, once you can get to that level where you're looking at them differently, now you're taking power over them. So on a piece of paper, you just write out, what are my negative thoughts and emotions? I feel negative about this. Let's say I have a bad habit of biting my nails when I feel stressed in social situations. Boom, you write it down, okay? Great, you've spotted it now. Now what you wanna do is, on a separate piece of paper, write down, so you've written it down as a bullet point list, right? This, 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 this. Let's say you have five items. You write five replacement items of positive thoughts, traits, and things to replace those negative thoughts with positive thoughts or positive actions, okay? So how would your higher self handle this? What is the type of person that would handle that problem super easily? So now what I want you to do is Release the emotion in some way. Maybe you can take a shower, you can exhale using a breath work, you can dance it out, um, but mainly you want to get rid of that piece of paper where you wrote down the negative emotion. So you can burn it, you can crumple it up, you can throw it in the trash, you can put it in the shredder, whatever you choose, okay? Just get rid of it. Symbolize the fact that this is no more me. I am a new version of me. The next thing is once you've really established your best life, and the most positive emotions that you wish to experience, you want to remind yourself of these. You want to remind yourself of these feelings and emotions in some way and do activities that help you access these different emotions. But you gotta think long-term, you gotta think bigger picture, okay? So right now you're super zoomed into this year. But what you wanna be doing is, you wanna actually look at the years to come, so it could be just you doing one thing to add to that character and that will dramatically shift your life around. So give yourself cues and reminders, you know, set it into your calendar a month from now, okay? a year from now even, that, okay, I want this, I want this, I want this. And you've got to come back to that, right, as a reminder. I want you to look at this metaphor of zone focusing for just a second, okay? This is a camera term. Zone focusing means you maximize your depth of field. Okay, you place your camera maybe eight or 10 feet back, right? So this type of manual focus makes sure that your subject stays sharp. Once your subject is sharp, once you maximize the depth of the field, and in this case, the metaphor goes into what is your craft, right? What is the area of the skill set or the new skill that you want to learn this year or next year? What is something new that you could refine? Maybe it's learning a new language, playing a new instrument, doing a new hobby or a craft, doing something where you become good at that thing. And that competence creates a confidence loop, which creates more competence. Really start to understand that you're building your self-esteem right now. And it's going to be powerful for you to recognize that. 
yes, it is important for you to have some social groups. Yes, it is important for you to have some kind of movement practice. Yes, it is important for you to be around nature. Yes, we all know these things, okay? But what I really want you to embody is this feeling of what is the type of person I need to be to have my specific goals or outcomes or results? Let's say you as a man are attracted to a specific kind of woman. What kind of woman is she? What is she broadcasting out into the world? Can you see her with a particular kind of partner? You need to be that man, that partner example. That's your next step. It may not look like the next step, but it is your next step. If you want to win a championship, you got to hang around champion mentality. If you want to lose some pounds, you're going to have to pay attention to what you're putting into your body. A lot of the times we forget in terms of our flow state lifestyle that we're creating for ourselves. A flow state lifestyle takes time to actually put in the system. Okay. Once you have the system, then you can play around with it. If you don't have a flow state ritual or a system where you tap in and you know the things that you do that get you into the zone, you know the times of the day your peak moments of activity to get you into the zone. This all comes down to self-knowledge. So once you know yourself truly, fully, then you will start to notice you taking automatic action. So let's say that you wanna be a person who reads books. You don't wanna just speak to yourself like a person who reads books. You want to immerse yourself into these books, right? Force yourself, push your mind. You're, you want to have that sense of competition almost in your mind. By the way, this is a completely hypothetical imagination scenario where the person next to me, even if you're all alone, you still want to have this competition of this drive. That person next to me is reading two books a day and I'm here stuck on one page. Why? Okay. This kind of competitive mentality is actually going to help you. Forget what they told you about this kind of, you know, everyone deserves a trophy type of mentality. No. Winners are going to lose over and over and over again. Winners lose more than losers lose. You see what I'm saying? Winner is just a loser who is a winner in transit. They're just in the subway station waiting to win because they've prepared themselves to the point where they can win, it's natural, it's spontaneous, it's autotelic. So what type of person do I need to be right now in order for me to have that long-term goal? So that's the question you gotta be asking and you gotta live through it. You actually gotta embody it and take the action steps that get you to blend out of those old habits. So if you're quitting drinking alcohol, you're gonna have to replace drinking with something else another activity that takes its place. Otherwise, you're going to be stuck in this limbo phase. I was speaking to a, a guy who was fighting and I told him, you know, what got you into MMA? He said, man, I'm just trying to get away from these drugs. If I wasn't fighting, that energy would come out in me uh, obsessing over, you know, chasing the next bliss or the next high. But I achieved that same endorphin rush through fighting. And this is my analysis. One is bringing you away from the present moment. One is getting you to impact with the present moment. There's nothing like that feeling of presence when you're locked up and on the ground and you can't move. Where's your anxiety then? This is what I wanted to remind you of, okay? I hope this helps you out today. Have an incredible day. May the flow be with you. Have an incredible year. May we never be the same again and stay legendary. Let's get it. Hit that notification bell if you want to know when I'm dropping videos. Let's get it.